Let us go through the speed farming in his build here. This is including the Soul Shards, which are part of Season 25. Super overpowered. So first of all, I've got five pieces of Inners equipped. The Helm, the Chest, Belt, Pants, and Gloves. Then I've got Le Febreve's Soliloquy Shoulders. I love pronouncing that. Le Febreve's Soliloquy Shoulders. Squirt Amulet, Wazatian Arm Guards. I'm using uh, Rachel's Ring of Larceny here and Pandemonium Loop with the Echoing Fury uh, weapon here. Basically, they can all fear our enemies and fearing increases our movement speed. So it's going to be, everything here is optimized for movement speed uh, increasing here. The crudest boots obviously is what uh, makes the mystic allies do all the damage that they do. And Ingeom here for some extra cooldowns. The Legendary gems I'm using, Boon of the Hoarder. I'm using Wreath of Lightning, again, both for movement speed increasing. And the Enforcer gem, which gives us that awesome pet damage. The skills, Way of 100 Fist, Assimilation as the Rune. Dashing Strike with Way of the Falling Star, again, for movement speed increasing. Epiphany with Desert Shroud. Mystic Ally with Water Allies for speed farming. Fire allies for GR pushing and GR speed farming, but I'll get into that in the future. Cyclone strike with implosion. Mantra of conviction with annihilation. Again, for movement speed increasing. Killing an enemy that is affected by a mantra of conviction. Grants you and your allies 30% movement speed increasing. Alright, so everything here is optimized for movement speed increasing. Fleet footed again, more movement speed. Seize the initiative, beacon of Yitta. And I've got near death experience just in case we take some fatal damage inside there. And we don't want to lose our XP pools because as we as we farm keys, we gather up XP pools. And if we get like a maximum stack of 10 XP pools, we don't want to risk losing them uh, for our GR because obviously it's all about farming Paragon and you don't want to lose those juicy XP pools. Let's have a look here quickly at Can Ice Cube. I've got Messerschmitt's Reaver for cooldown, armor, bindings of the lesser gods, and jewelry, ring of royal grandeur, which allows us to get that six piece bonus of inners. Soul Shards, super important, almost forgot to mention it. So Soul Shards are exclusive to Season 25. Otherwise, you can use this exact setup without the Soul Shards. You can just go with another Emerald um, Flawless Royal Gem in the Echoing Fury here. Or you can also go with the uh, like a diamond gem for extra cooldown here instead of Sliver of Terror. So nothing really changes, but the soul shards that I'm using at the moment, Sliver of Terror, like I mentioned, uh, you want to look out for the abilities where your attack speed and crit hit chances are increased by 5% for each skill on cooldown. Uh, and also your cooldowns are increased by 25% for every skill on cooldown you take 12.5% reduced damage and deal 12.5% increased damage you can mix and match these however you like some of them do roll with different stats I've got vitality life there cooldown reduction you can get ones instead of vitality you get dex mix and match depends on what stat you want to prioritize and then I'll go with dregs of lies very importantly I like to have cold skills damage there it's very difficult Difficult to get, you can get like arcane, holy, um, lightning and fire as well. Uh, so it could take a few dregs of lies rank ups to get the one with cold damage. But we are using the water allies for this build. So you want to try and get one with cold damage. If not, get one at least that has these other stats at the bottom here. Whereas you deal 25% less damage, your pets deal 25% increased damage. Because mystic allies are going to be doing the majority of our damage, you definitely want this increase for our pets. Doesn't matter if we take a reduction. You want to definitely buff your mystic allies damage because they're doing all the damage and also killing an enemy Reduces all your active cooldowns by five seconds Mystic ally and monk build is definitely very very important to have as much cooldown as humanly possible So these are the soul shards that I'm using and these are the ones that I recommend using But you can definitely mix and match mix and match your soul shards However, you want it is the season to mix and match and try different variations and experiment Let's go farm some keys and show y'all how this baby works. Zero keys. We've got a lot of farming to do. Let's go find some shit to kill here. As you can see already, insanely fast. <laughs> Don't blink. Don't blink. And um, 
I do have some stuff on my follower which I'm going to go through. Sorry, the follower is very important because we actually have a chance to double our death breath drops and also double. No, we get double death breath every time uh, death breath actually drops. We have a chance to double the amount of greater rift keystones that we pick up from the rift guardian. So super handy. The follower is actually quite important. I'll go through it after this. Uh, this won't take long as you can see here. It's absolutely bonkers. Bonkers how quick it is. If you get like the perfect map, we probably could have already cleared it out and been well on our way to rift number two. This fight is over. It's almost over. But if you do get a nice open map with enough density to actually summon the Rift Guardian, and you'll summon him. See this? It's absolutely bonkers. We pick up the Keystones, and I usually leave a lot of Legendaries and stuff. I only pick up Death's Breath every now and then, if I can sort of click on the way. But the goal here is to farm as much Keystones as, as, as quickly as possible. Now... The follower is super important. Clicking on the follower, you want Nemesis Braces on. So every time we actually click on a pylon or a shrine, you get an elite. So elite means more progression. He gives you those juicy orbs. You can progress on quicker and you get through the actual rift a hell of a lot quicker. You want those keys as quickly as possible. Flavor of Time increases the duration of pylons twice as long. I've got the Spolders of Zakara here on my follower. Basically, your items become indestructible, so no repair costs at all. The gold skin here, it gives you a chance to get more gold drops, which means you pick them up a lot more. You've got your Boon of the Hoarder, you're going to be moving a lot quicker. Uh, Avarice Band increases the radius of those gold pickups. Uh, get into uh, get into the gear, the other the set items and the Ring of Royal Grandeur in a second. Tormentor here, chance to charm enemies, and you want something. You want your What's this called? Not a relic. This is a um, focus. Your focus, you definitely want it to have a quip on follower. Your follower cannot die. That's what you want for sure. Now, the set items. You want two pieces of canes and two pieces of sages equipped. So, you've got sages gloves and sages belts. I've got three pieces of canes. We only need two, though, because we've got Ring of Royal Grandeur. But anyway, you want at least two pieces of canes and two pieces of sages. So that way you put in Ring of Royal Grandeur and you get the three piece bonus. With canes, you can see there for three pieces. In a greater rift, whenever a keystone drops, which is the rift garden gives you those keys, it has a chance to drop an extra one. So if it drops four, you have a chance to pick up eight. 25% chance. There have been times we've gone in there and picked up eight keys in one run as opposed to three or four. So big help there. With sages, every time a death breath drops, so anytime you kill an elite, instead of dropping three, if it drops three, you'll get six. You'll get an extra one each time. So very, very nice there. And you can craft sages and craft um, canes as well. If you're missing the recipes in your blacksmith, Go and do some bounties because they'll appear in bounty caches. But yeah, you can equip the actual set pieces there. Just like that. That is the speed farming build. What are you waiting for? Put yours together and then farm some rifts and get those keys super, super efficiently. Good luck, everybody. Any questions? Hit me up in the comments down below.